Hey guys, it's the end of my day. It's Wednesday. Um, I was gonna do a video earlier today, but my day has like totally gotten away from me. And I'm wearing pigtails right now because um, it was decades day at work. I thought it was 80s day, but it was decades day. And in the 80s, I was like a little girl and um, in like elementary school. My mom used to do my hair in pigtails or, um, you know, ponytails off to the side. Um, I guess it's pigtails, right? I don't know, whatever. Um, so that's what I wore. And then I'll, just to kind of like lead into my story that I will discuss once I get home, um, I was out looking for candy jewelry earlier today to kind of go with the whole outfit. Um, but that didn't happen, but, but I'll explain it a little bit more. Just to kind of tell you how my day got started, my day got started off on like an excellent foot. I went to go see my primary care physician, who I absolutely adore. I love my doctor. I mean, he comes into the office and he gives me a hug. <laughs> like He's like, oh, Dawn, it's so great to see you. Like, I love him. I can't even explain. Um, my husband went to him first and then my husband's like, you know, I hate doctors, but I love our current doctor. So, yeah, he's, like, amazing. So, after the doctor's office, I went to the dollar store to get some jewelry. And I came really, 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 really extremely close to being locked up and not making it to work. But I will explain all of that as soon as I get home. I, my car is warmed up. I'm ready to head home. So I will catch up with you guys a little bit later, very, very soon to explain to you what happened. Okay, guys. So I'm at home now and Digger's all situated with his food and he's had his snack and my husband's eating. So... Anyway, now I want to tell you guys about what happened at Dollar General. So, I went to Dollar General to look for the um, candy jewelry to go with my pigtails and my outfit, my Edie's outfit that I wore today. And I walked in there and really quickly, I just went right to the candy aisle. I know exactly where it is. I go to this store all the time, um, this particular location all the time. And um, I walk into the candy aisle and I look and I see that they have the ring pops, right? So I was going to get those, but I was like, no, I'm going to have to go to another store anyway. So I'll just pick up the ring pops. Ring pops wasn't really what I was looking for. Anyway, I really wanted the candy jewelry. So I started to leave the aisle. And when I did, I said, I turned and I saw the, the guy who was at the register and he, he was in the candy aisle, which isn't that odd because at Dollar General, the cashiers will um, stock shelves, so no big deal. I turned to him and I said, hey, do you have any candy jewelry? And he was like, no. Okay, cool. I said, okay, thanks. Turn around. He's like, give me what you put in your bag. I look at him like, what? I was like, whatever. So I start walking away. He runs to the front door and he locks it. He locks it. He goes to the front door and he turns the knob and he locks it. So I can't leave. And he says, you, get, you let me look in your bag and you give me what you, you put in your bag or I'm calling the cops. And I said, call the cops then. So at that point, like I'm starting to freak out a little bit. And I call my husband, and I don't want to leave where I'm at, so I'm standing at the front of the store because I'm like, I don't want him to say, oh, she did have something in her bag, and she dropped it out of her bag as soon as, I, you know, she turned the corner or something. So I'm standing there. I called my husband. My husband said, hang up with me and call the cops now. Tell them that you're being held hostage. So I hung up with him. I called the cops, and I said, look, I'm at Dollar General, and I... I'm locked inside of the store. The guy will not let me out. He says, I'm, I'm stealing from him. And I said, I want you to send a cop. So he's on the phone getting a cop. I'm on the phone getting a cop. I hang up. It takes like, I don't know, seven, eight minutes for a cop to get there. Cop gets there. And at that point, the door was already open. But, I, you know, I wasn't going to leave. I'm like, no, now I'm, gonna, I'm waiting for this cop to come. Cop comes. He walks in the door and he says, um, 
what's going on. So I explained him what was going on. The guy ex was explaining his version of what was going on. And I'm on the phone with my husband. And my husband is like, well, ask him what your alternative is if you won't show him what's in your bag. And the cop is like, I will arrest you. So I'm like, oh my god, I have to go to work. I don't have time for this. What's going on? My day was starting off so well. So... I said, well, fine, can you just look in my bag and then I'll leave? Because I wasn't going to let the store rep look in my bag at all. My husband doesn't go through my purse. I, he, no, no one, my purse is like my personal, like that, no, you just, no, you don't go through my bag. So, um, so anyway, the, we went to the back of the store because the cop refused to look through my bag at the front of the store. I guess he thought it would be easier to like arrest me if we were in the back. I, I really don't know. So I had to walk all the way to the back of the store. I give the cop my bag and he opens it and he starts looking through, um, through my bag. And he's like, he looks at the guy. Well, before he started looking through the bag, he asked the guy. He was like, well, tell me your story. And he says, she came in with the empty bag. She went in the candy aisle and the bag was full. The cop's going through my bag, and he's like, there's nothing in here. So he looks at the guy, and the guy kind of, like, peeks in my bag, and he's like, his face just drops. I don't get an apology. I don't get anything. Nothing. So I'm like, can I go? And the cop's like, I want to see your ID. So I'm like, great. So now they're going to check and see if I have warrants or something. Like, whatever. So I pull my, my, um... ID out, and at that point, like, I'm shaking, like, really bad, probably, like, as much as I'm shaking this camera, <laughs> and I'm, like, shaking really bad, and I'm, like, on the verge of tears, and, um, I give him my ID, and the cop's like, well, do you still live at da da da, -da? and I'm like, yes, I mean, I've been at the same location for, like, 15 years, um, and he said, um, he was like, well, here's your ID back, and I said, am I free to go? He says, yes, and make sure that you don't come back in this store again. So, so, I'm innocent, and I took nothing. I was held against my will, and then on top of that, I'm banned from the store. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? But in the store, in the story, they get banned from Woolworths. And who is that, babe? Pete? Which one is it? Um, Delmar. Delmar. Ask Del oh Delmar and Everett. So Delmar looks at Everett and he says, "I don't know, Everett. Was it just the one Woolworths or was it all of them?" My husband's joking with me now because he's like, "Are you banned from all of them or just one?" So we live like three minutes from the um, we live like three minutes from the Dollar General store. So by the time I get home, my husband's already on the phone with corporate. I called my husband as I was leaving, like in tears like I'm so upset I get to the house like I'm still upset my dog's barking my husband's on the phone with corporate we're trying to figure out what's going on it just was like horrific I, I mean I've, I don't know what's going on my last my last video I'm telling you guys about this horrible customer service experience that I had with America's Best and then um now I've got this this trouble with the dollar store. Like, I'm going to steal a freaking candy from the dollar store. Now, just to kind of show you guys what it was that I had, this is the bag that I had. Okay, this is my little bag that I carry with me. And look, it's like the size of my head or something. I don't know. Um, it's actually fuller now than it was when I was at the store because I have my iPad in here um, right now. And I may have like one or two other things in here. But, um, I mean, this is this is what I carry. I like carry it with me everywhere. I carry it with me to the gym because um, it's easier than carrying a purse. The thing that kills me though is, you know, the bag was the bag was really kind of small. So, and I've got purses that are bigger than this this bag. So it's still way fuller than what it was when I was out today. But look like, at that. Like that's it. And it was complete. It was the um, string was completely pulled on it, and it was over my shoulder. And the guy was on the register, and he ran in the candy aisle. I mean, because I seriously was not in the store, but I don't know, like a minute or two. So, um, 
Yeah, that's what happened. And then it makes me think about the time. <laughs> I swear, you guys, it's not me. I swear. It makes me think about the time that I was banned from Spencer's <sighs> when I was 21 because I wasn't there with my parents. I know I look young, okay? I, I do. So when I was 21, I looked young. I l probably looked like 14 or 15. But it's Spencer's. Like, you can walk in there at any time, and you could see, like, nine-year-olds playing with fake penises. You know? And I'm getting banned on, on Christmas Eve when the place was completely packed. I get picked out like you right there. Where's your parents? Like seriously, on Christmas Eve when you have about fifty thousand people in this little teeny tiny store, you're worried about me. It's only me. It's only me. I don't know. So that's what happened. So I'll keep you guys updated on what happens because um, the guy from the um Dollar General, the district manager or whatever, is supposed to be in touch with us. He got in touch with my husband earlier. My husband explained what happened. Um, but I really don't know what's going to to come out of what happened. I don't know. We'll see. So that's it. That's the way that my day was, pretty much. I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Oh, and for anybody that's wondering, my husband's doing a little bit better. We had... A, a very um, intense and crazy weekend. We were in the emergency room on Sunday night, um, and Monday I stayed home with my husband. Yesterday was my first day back to work, and then all the drama that happened today. Welcome to my world. Catch up with you guys tomorrow. Good night.